So today we're gonna look at strapping down your boat. So you start with the non-buckle into the strap. We'll slide that over the top of the hull. We wanna use the non-buckle side. So if uh, we didn't have a boat cover on, we wouldn't scratch the boat with the uh, buckle. Slide that over, we'll reach underneath and grab that. We'll make sure that we bring it just to the side of our other strap that's already there. We don't wanna let this strap go on top of that because it would push down on that buckle release and loosen the other strap. Bring that to the side here. We can even make a little loop with it to help it stick up a little higher so we can reach over and grab it with our other arm. We'll pull that over. We'll pull out all the slack, bring the buckle up to our cross arm here. Make sure our strap's not twisted or anything before we insert it into the buckle. Go ahead and uh, pull snug there. Get everything lined up before you pull it really tight. And we'll get our buckle kind of on an angle here, just like this. Now that'll give us a little extra leverage to pull tight. So we want it to start a little bit on an angle and we pull down and over, and that helps tighten it down. We can see just by moving that buckle there, it really doesn't slide back and forth. That means your strap's nice and tight. You can also check by hearing that little uh, string noise, you know, when you flick your strap there. So we'll bring our excess around now, and we don't ever wanna go back the other way. We don't wanna depress this buckle, because if we push down on that, it'll release the tension in the strap. So we'll bring this back around, and then through behind this part of our strap, we'll pull tight. We'll do that once more. Pull tight again. Then we take our excess strap, wrap it around our cross arm, just to the side of our buckle. Again, we don't wanna bring our excess strap and put it on top of the buckle where it push down on the release there. We'll bring that around, just wrap it around till you get to the very end, till you get to about six inches left or so. We'll tuck that back under, pull tight with our left hand and take our right hand and kind of make a turning motion to help the strap tighten down on itself. Make it really nice and snug there. And that will keep it nice and tight for as long as you're driving. It won't uh, come loose on itself. When you're ready to go ahead and undo the strap, you just turn the other way and then you can undo it. And that's all there is to strap in a boat. So that's your standard strap for fours and eights. And then uh, we've got some other videos you can check out for uh, how to strap doubles and singles, which are a little bit, uh, uh, more delicate boats and also how to sling boats when you're putting them upside down on the rack uh, to accommodate space for more boats on your trailer.